begin my lecture by playing three piano recordings. These recordings show how 20th century pianists have interpreted the mazurkas of Frederick Chopin. I believe that most, most of us will agree upon hearing these recordings that the performances are quite credible pianistic. During the course of this lecture, however, we may realize that none of them reflects awareness of the indigenous Polish music and dance that inspired Chopin to write these unique works. Such naivete is understandable, of course, since relatively few musicians know of Chopin's first-hand contact with Polish folk culture. This afternoon, I will discuss this contact as it relates to performance practice of the mazurka. My goal is to point out historical links between Chopin's stylization of Polish folk music and the folk music itself. Let us now turn to the recording. The three excerpts I'm about to play show performance practices that typify, I believe, mazurka playing and informed by its folk rules. I will first identify the symptoms of the shortcoming and later propose ways to treat them. number two, played by the Italian pianist Roberto Poli. Number four, played by the Russian pianist Mikhail Plesnyov. of the mazurka rhythm and its rhythmic accent. Recording three is a performance of the A minor mazurka of 68 number two, played by the Georgian pianist Nino Kaftara. Is a genre that includes. 
include several different dances. These dances all originated in the Mazovia and Cuyaba districts of Poland. Please refer to the map on your handout, example number one. The bazooka is a hybrid of three Polish national dances, Mazur, Kujawa, and Obel. Chopin, of course, did the transcribe his dances for piano in the export. Rather, his knowledge of their characteristics deeply influenced the composition of his mazurka. Let us examine each of the three dances separately, starting with the mazur. The mazur is performed at the tempo midway between the slower, slower kujawa and the faster obel, say 160 to 184 per minute. The letter moves at 130 to 160 beats per minute. Caused by elongation of the beats. 
Such elongation produces what musicians call agogic accent. Kuyaviak melodies are usually in, in the minor mode and are played over a, a sustained bass or pedal point. Trills and grace notes often decorate the repeating tones that animate the melodic lines. The phrasing is usually symmetrical and consists of two and four bar groups, but is played with rhythmic flexibility. Generally, the strongest accent falls on the second beat of the fourth measure of a phrase. Moreover, the rhythm mixes double and triple subdivisions of the beat. To see a typical Kuyavik melody, please refer to your handout example 2.2. Now we come to the Oberg. The Oberg is the fastest Polish dance in triple meter and is usually played at 180 to 240 beats per minute.
of a Kujawian dance by the folk group Wrocław. shows a mazur as it might have been danced by, no, by the nobility. The dancers are dressed in costumes resembling those of the Polish aristocracy of the 17th and 18th centuries. It is performed by the University of Lublin for Bell. Jest to niepowtarzalny urok kujawiny. 